Hey guys, yeah, still working on my hybrid build here. What I'm really uh, curious about as I start getting higher level, I'm level uh, 54 right now, is experimenting more with the uh, Avenger Auto Turret in combination with my uh, self heal Bulwark of Dawn. Now, Bulwark of Dawn, I have at level 50, Auto Turrets at level 52, uh, Rage Cost 375. See, now, what I'm curious about is you use your rage skills, and, of course, they generate your willpower, as I have the uh, points put into the uh, Gate of Fates tree to where I generate rage instead of uh, willpower. But uh, number of projectiles, one. Pierce strength, one target. Critical chance, yeah, I only have 54% critical chance. Total damage, 607, 1288. I have a good part of that is Ren damage, though, too. Um, maybe we can play into that. Uh, let's kind of see what's going on here, first of all. Uh, I know on the Gate of Fates thing here, you know, I don't have my points allocated all the way I'd like to have them, actually. Um... But you want to make sure you come into the Scholar Tree here, Emotional Intelligence. This will give you 150 max willpower and rage to add to your pool. And as you work your points around, come into the uh, Warlock Tree down here and pick up uh, Duty to Exterminate. 200 more of max willpower and rage. And the two sub-nodes give you 100 willpower and rage each. So combined between these nodes, that's 550 more willpower and rage. I think that's actually really important. Uh, now, we're talking about projectiles. I'm working into this tree slowly right here. Um, this one here, I don't know, uh, Archean's Teachings, you get one more projectile, but you're taking 50% damage. You know, I think if you're playing with a skill that has 100% crit chance, that's probably okay, but you're losing 50% all projectile damage. However... Yeah, if you want to level up more and take, what, four more levels, you can pick that damage back up. Let's see here. I think you have, what, three or four nodes? 10% more uh, projectile damage. 16% projectile damage. 10%. And then uh, another 12%. So that's like, uh, what, 48%? So you can pretty much pick up that lost 50% there. But... I would suggest you come out here and get uh, come what may. Enemies at close range, you're going to pierce them and you're going to hit other enemies behind that. So is it worth it? I don't know. You know, I, 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 the cost of all the uh, other points to constantly respect this tree is just annoying as hell. So I'm not going to keep screwing around with that. Um, but that is an alternative you could take. Also... Be warned, too, uh, there are some things that you put points into on here. You know, it's, it's buggy right now, but there are some things that do not reflect on your character page when you put points on stuff. Uh, you know, I know right now that, yeah, I got shit for block, but I should actually have 16% block, and I only have 6% block. So, you know, there's something going on with the uh, Gate of Fates and... You know, maybe that block actually is figured in and it's just not transferring over here. I don't know. So, yeah, that's kind of what it is. <laughs> Anyways. My theory is, coming to a mob, mobs here, I can drop two turrets. Okay? Two turrets. And yeah, you can hold your turret if you double click. You know, I gotta wait for it to drop. Okay, that's... Yeah, here, let's try another one. I don't want to hold the turret. I want to... Okay. Drop the turret. Okay, there's my healing. Alright. So, let's let the turret do whatever. Drop another one. Run around. I gotta wait. I have not gotten the points into my Bulwark of Dawn yet.
Yeah, for trash mobs, <laughs> it seems to do okay, I guess, but... That's not too bad. Let's come down here. I'm not using anything except those turrets. Okay, let's come. We have a boss up here, so let's get the turret down. Oh, sh yes, yeah. Yeah, let's get that up. See, that thing uh, heals you up instantly, though. So, shoot that boss down there. Okay. Yeah, now on your uh, Bulwark of Dawn, you can uh, put another modifier into uh, skill duration plus three more seconds on top of this one here, two seconds. So you could have the Bulwark of Dawn up for uh, 10 seconds and only have to wait one second for it uh, to come off cooldown. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe there's a way to actually build off of this and actually come up with something really cool. Nice thing is you can just kind of keep moving. Especially see what these are. Oh, yeah, that came up unexpectedly. I wanted to. And the turrets have a, a duration of seven seconds each. So it seems like you have like a. Uh, so I can put that down. So I can just stand here. Yeah, you know, I think if there's a way to oh, incorporate those into a build, my guess would be the uh, criticals are hitting for about 6,500 to 7,000 based on what I've seen there. So here, let's see if we can check it out again. Get your critical strike chance up there better. Let's see here, 6,000, yeah, okay, so. I mean, yeah, you know, if you like to run around, you know, you're going to uh, incorporate those turrets in with other, uh, whatever other build you're doing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it should work. As long as you can get your, uh, your healing thing down, you know, you're going to get back to instant health and then spec into there to get more uh, time in it. Okay, here, let's see what happens to this dude. Keep running around to avoid his attacks until I get my shield. There we go. Good rage pool going on. And just keep your guns going on him. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, I think somewhere in there it could actually be incorporated and uh, work out fairly decently. <laughs> Just level it up. Get those healing globes as you're going too, so... that up there. Keep your turrets going.
yeah, it's definitely slower than <laughs> to clear things out if you're used to using a bleeding edge and whatnot, but. If you have a good rage pool going on nonstop, uh, yeah, you're gonna get things taken care of, so. Yeah, I'll keep experimenting with it, you know. Let me know what you guys think, too, if you guys are trying any uh, builds that are mixing in the turrets as well. I kind of like them, you know. It spices things up a bit, so. Anyways, peace out, guys.